life. I'm Nicole and welcome if you are new. Yes, I have crazy hair and that's because today I'm going to show you my curly hair routine, an updated one. Um, I've talked about products before but I'm using different products. This video I'm going to be using some Curls Daughter products which I've used before. I don't think I've ever shared that on my um, channel. But anyways, I also wanted to trim my ends because... You see how like scraggly they are and my hair is just like, yeah, dying <laughs> at the ends. Um, I don't really straighten my hair much. Yeah, my hair is dying at the ends. I don't really straighten my hair much, but it is starting to break off. Like this is just, I don't know what's going on. Like you can just see like that needs to be cut. Yeah, so this video I'm using some Curl to start a products. I'm excited to be, use these products because this is, um, I guess, the line that I really found that I like out of Carol's Daughters. And let me show you the products. So I'm going to be using the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream. This is the shampoo in Squirrel Quenching, says, so you know, curls, whatever. I wanted to use... I first seen this like on Instagram or something a while ago because I know this is not their latest line. Um, I have used their curl mask which I absolutely love. I am not going to use it in this video just because I've already like gave my hair a conditioning treatment. But I'm also going to use the conditioner as well. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in just a little bit because my battery is dying. So I'm going to charge my battery, wash my hair, and get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I'm back. I washed my hair. I am about to comb it. Um, I just wanted to say before I started that I switch in between brands. I know I did like a video on the As I Am Naturally products. Um, the Jamaican black castor oil products, which I still love by the way, but sometimes my hair just kind of gets used to products, so I have to like switch it up um, every now and again. And I've been wanting to try that Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream, which I finally got to try. Love the shampoo. Let me tell you a little bit about the shampoo. So the shampoo is thick and creamy. I didn't have to use a lot at all. I probably used about hmm, that much, and usually for my thick hair, I usually have to use a lot. Um, it lathered really well. My hair feels soft. I could feel the oils working. And as you know, like curly hair, you have to keep your curls moisturized. You cannot have dry hair. Same with the conditioner, thick and creamy, moisturizing. Um, and so before we get to actually styling curly hair, now let me remind you guys, this is not a this is not a part of my curly hair routine air routine every time um but i am going to take these shears that i bought and just kind of trim you know some of those longer pieces of curls as you can see i mean not curls longer pieces of hair where it's kind of just not curling anymore and also like my hair back here is broken off so i'm going to try to like shape it out and trim it I don't want to tell you that I'm a professional because I am not. I've never cut my hair before, but it really needs it and I'm tired of it. So I'm going to trim it myself and then later on have a professional round it out for me. So yeah, so don't take any notes from me. <laughs> I have watched some other YouTubers do this and I feel comfortable enough to do it because it's my hair. So with that being said, I am going to first use this Again, like I said, I switch between products. I also love this brand, Camille Rose. Uh, I did a video on this as well, but I'm gonna use this moisture milk because that was the one thing I do wish the Curl's Daughter Cocoa Cream line had was a leave-in conditioner, but they don't. So I'm gonna use this. It was on sale at Target, so you know. I'm going to use my Denman brush to smoothen out my hair and comb it out. So that way it can be even and we can cut it evenly. But before that, I'm going to use this wide tooth comb to comb it out. Just because, yeah. So, let's get to it. I'm probably just going to part it down the middle. And do it that way so that things are even. I like to section off my hair when I comb it just because I don't want to like... It just hurts, so I'm gonna 
first comb it and it's kind of dry so I think that's good. Good for cutting because I know a lot of people don't like to cut wet so still damp but that's okay. Now I'm going to apply my hair milk, moisture milk so that way I can smoothen it out with the thinning brush. And we can see what we're working with here. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Why the cottage blues? Yeah, I wanna try myself inside the juice. Yeah, you know I keep on running from the truth Was that not? I'm just a lonely fucking you Now when I drive around, don't feel it up Why it's getting colder when the sun comes out? I just waste away, don't know what life about Another day go by, don't know what got me down So as you can see, there was a difference. Um, all I did after I combed it and cut it to style it, all I did was do some little just finger coils and then let it set for about an hour. Usually I wouldn't let it set for an hour, but since I'm not going anywhere, I just let it sit and then I came and used my diffuser and that was like, I'm so happy with it. It looks amazing. Like, oh, it just feels good too. It's like moving and it just feels a lot better. Looks a lot better. If you guys have any questions about my curly hair routine, remember the cutting part is usually not a part of my routine, but diffusing and conditioning and using a hair milk, all of that usually is. Normally, I would just kind of go out like this. It's still a little bit damp, but because it's big enough now, and after I diffuse it, I would just go out. You know, maybe lay my edges a little bit more because they look a little bit frizzy. But other than that, I usually just kind of let it be. Um, it just looks, I'm just kind of happy about it because it looks so much better. It moves better. It's a lot bouncier. So I'm happy. But if you have any questions about my curly hair routine, leave them in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I know that you enjoy these kind of videos. This is just the curly hair routine nobody asked for. 